we have seen today is a national security breach. Let's not see it as a PM's breach because when you put the top man of the country at the risk and you put him on a flyover 20 minutes high and dry, you are risking the country's security as such. This is, was an orchestrated ploy or a design to put the risk the life of the Prime Minister. Forget the political gains, forget the how many number of people were going to be there and how many people were there our Prime Minister decided to cancel the ID. I would like to take your attention to the tweet of Mr. B.L. Santosh where he clearly said that while going, Honorable Prime Minister told one of the you know officers there at the airport, thank your CM for letting me fly out alive on Batinda. Aap, aapne Chief Minister Saab ko thank you bolye ke aaj mein se zinda ke ja rahu. How many times have you seen the Honorable Prime Minister talk like this? And how many times have we seen in last 75 years such breaches happening on in the security of a Prime Minister? Now, if this is the kind of Rajniti the Congress wants to go down to, now, incidentally, I want to take your attention to one more thing today. Today morning, Sidhuji says that uh, Rahul Gandhi is in some Gupt meeting, secret meeting. What, with whom was he in Gupt meeting with this? Now, this incident happens and you want to belittle it by saying, oh, there were less people, Prime Minister decided to leave. But they don't talk about the 42,500, 700 crores of schemes which he was going to inaugurate there. Forget that everything. Where on this earth does it happen? How do you risk the life of the Prime Minister? Why did the DGP of Punjab give the clearance to this route? The route was taken because there was a weather problem we know in North India. The second thing is when Mr. Chani was trying to be reached on the phone, he never attended the phone. What was he doing to salvage the situation? And what is this blaming SPG and everything? If you were not sure of the route, you could have clearly told SPG no, and SPG would have not moved the Prime Minister inch. You approved the route. You said it's safe to go. Now you want to put it on IB and everything, and you want to put it on the rally. There were not a lot of people. But the fundamental point remains, how far is Pakistan from there? How much time does it take to fly in a drone where you leave Prime Minister on the top of a flyover for 20 minutes? You are literally making him a sting duck. If he is today alive, it's Katsi, SPG, and the IB and other people are protecting him. If it is left to the helm of the Punjab police, I'm sorry today the state of affairs would have been something totally different. The, the least they can do is their DGP, their CM and everybody, including Rahul Gandhi ji, should come and apologize to the nation and ensure this doesn't happen ever again. Forget the gains of our election and all. You cannot risk the Prime Minister of our country for your political okay. gains or whatever your gains may be. You have put the life of Prime Minister at risk. And the whole world is watching us. The, our hostile neighbors are watching all us. Right. What is the message you are giving? By this logic, the Prime Minister cannot go to any other state which is not you know, administrated by BJP. Are you setting this a new normal? Are you saying whenever the Prime Minister will pass, oh, we will stop the convoy looking, uh, you know, being on a top of a flyover for 20 minutes? It's absolutely normal. Nothing happened. So, and why does Mr. Chani okay, say this happened? Let me, let me also bring in Tehseen on that point. Hmm. Okay. Thank you.